Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video we will see one awesome tool that comes pre-built with Linux. This tool will be helpful for you to recover the data from the 10 drives, hard disk drive, or from the SD card that you deleted accidentally. You can recover any types of files, like image files, video files. So this tool is the foremost tool that comes pre-built with Kali Linux and Paradolas. Now what is the foremost tool, and how to use it for data recovery? Foremost is a forensic program to recover lost files. Based on their headers, footers, and internal data structures, Foremost can work on image files, such as those generated by DD, Safeback, Encase, etc., or directly on a drive. The headers and footers can be specified by a configuration file. Or you can use command line switches to specify built-in file types. These built-in types look at the data structures of a given file, format allowing for a more reliable and faster recovery. Now how to install the Foremost tool. You need to open the root terminal to install the Foremost tool. Now run the below command to install the Foremost tool. After that press the enter key on your keyboard. As you can see, I have already installed the Foremost tool on my Parrot OS. Now to use this tool, we will see the help section of this tool. We will type the Foremost h command here. Here you can see the usage of this tool. Now here, I have connected my 32GB pen drive. And I'm going to delete the files from my pen drives and again we will recover these files. Using the foremost tool. Let me delete all the files permanently. As you can I'm deleting it permanently. That means it's not going to the trash bin. Let me show you the trash folder too. See there are no files here. You can see in the property we have deleted all the files from my pen drive. Now we are going to recover all these files using the foremost tool. But remember one thing, it will only recover Phyllis if the data is not overwritten on the device. If data is overwritten then it will be hard to recover the data. Now here we will need the drive location of the device, which you want to recover data from. As you can see this is my pendrive drive location. These are my system partition details. To recover the data type the below command to execute the tool. Type foremost hyphen t and type file extensions that you want to recover like. If you want to recover the image file then type jpg png format. If you want to recover videos then type MT for extension. If you want to recover PDF files then type PDF. Now type hyphen R and hyphen Q. Hyphen Q is used for quick search. If you don't want a quick search then you can skip the quick search it will do the deep scanning. Without hyphen Q command. Now type hyphen capital I and type the device path. Now we have to configure the output directory. Where our recovered file will be stored. I'm going to save it on the desktop so I will be using the desktop path. After entering the output directory path, press the enter key on your keyboard. As you can see it started the process of recovering my data from the pen drive. As you can see it recovered some of my photos from the pen drive. Let's wait for full data recovery. Let me show you. It has created the data recovery folders on my desktop. It is the same folder that we have given in the output directory. But you will see the lock icon on the folder. Because we have created this folder using root account. To remove the lock icon you will need to run below command. Now you can see it has removed the lock icon from the folder. 
And now you can access this folder. Here you are able to find the recovery file. As I mentioned earlier if your data is not overwritten, then it can recover more data from the device. As you can see it is searching for more data that was stored on my pen drive. Let's wait and see if it will recover the more old data or not. As you can see it started recovering more data from my pen drive. Now switch to the folder and see how many photos has recovered. Now you can see, it has recovered some old photos from my pen drive that was not stored on pen drive when we started recording this video. Let me stop this now. And we will see if it can recover the zip file from the device. As you remember at the beginning of the video, you didn't store the zip file on the pen drive. So we will try to recover the zip file from the pen drive. Now again the command will be the same. We just need to change the extensions from JPG, MP4 to zip file. And we will add one more command that is hyphen T. Hyphen T is used to create a folder with the present time. Now as you can see the data recovery process has been started. And it has recovered some of the zip files. Let's see what types of files it has recovered. As you can see it has recovered three zip files from my pen drive. So this is how you can recover your lost data from the portal devices using the foremost tool. So this is it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.